One of the many questions that I see online is what are some hacks for pop-up campers and camping? And I've gone through a few things that have worked out well for us that I've tried. We go through them here. First thing is for putting curtains up, for privacy curtains for some of the older units pop-ups is what I've done is just use tension rails that extend out and down they store easily and I use these shower clips with some little curtain clips on here and for the curtains you don't even need to spend a lot of money uh, thrift store set of curtains cut them in half sew them down and they work great also got little tie backs on here another neat thing that you do is a lot of people get condensation and dampness underneath their bunk ends I generally always leave a fan running during the day and that helps keep some of it out uh, but also, on the bottom is, I use these uh, anti-fatigue mats, and that only gives you some extra stability, or not stability, but uh, extra cushion underneath your bunk when you're sleeping, and also helps with the condensation and dampness and insulation. Alright, here, another thing that we do is a quick little shelving unit. This unit is just closet rods, a couple uh, more of the tension poles here that are put up, and just the closet uh, rod pieces put on that. They can break down. There's just two of those that go in between, and then I also have a little basket for storing some different things. This breaks down real easy and stores underneath the counters. Same thing with the drawers that I have keep a lot of the stuff in drawers they pull out and stack nicely that way you can keep everything in here microwave is a little addition uh, I do drop it into a 12 gauge wire that runs along the side here and I drop it out of the side of the bunk that way it's running off of a dedicated terminal and not off of uh, the camper itself Finally inside another thing is I made this blue box. This blue box uh, is divided. It stores well with the items for when we're on the road. Uh, we each have our own divider for clothing and different things. And then it's easy to just pick up, set in the floor, and pack around it. That way everything is there, everything is in its place, and everything has its own spot in the camper. Thing that we do here is a lot of people have heard of the pop-up gizmos a uh, lot cheaper option for us is this is a heavy-duty survival blanket that it is obviously orange on one side and it's reflective on the other put the reflective side up during the warmer months reflective down there in the cooler months and it helps insulate reflects the sun away keeps the heat in during the winter I attach it with bungee cords on both sides also bungees at the top and then I use just three alligator clips down the side the flagpole is just PVC pipe put together I do have the measurements for that I will try to find those and put them down below all right guys if you get any value out of this I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and like the posts and the videos it really helps us out a lot helps us uh, continue to put together stuff like this so we'll continue on here and pardon some of the mess kind of a video got put off and we're starting to pack up I have to head back home but also on the on my bunk ends I also use these supports I do have the regular bunk end supports but I use these as well just to give it some extra support. I'll have the links for everything down in the bio, down in the narrative here. You can just take a click on any of those. Now, one thing I did have is a canopy that I had set up with a little extra thing that we do. Elsa kind of came in with the pop-up storm that wasn't expected and spun it like a tornado and ripped it to pieces. So... I'll kind of explain what we do there. Last thing here is, I said the last thing is, but get all your cooking stuff outside.
with this outdoor camp kitchen here, I keep all of my stuff in these totes. They go easily in, out. They fit in the uh, outdoor kitchen that I can keep out here. So I do all of my cooking out here uh, as well. Another thing is with all of your bedding linens, I have just one of these sterilite containers that I put all of my bedding linens in and end up dumping dirty clothes and such in it throughout your, your trip and keeping it out of your way. But then your bedding can go back in there. When you get home, you just pull one box out, you take it in, wash it, put that one box back in, and you're done. You're not having to search for a lot of things. Now, the last thing that we wanted to, to go over is everybody hates the bugs. Mosquitoes, thermosel works great, but when you're standing outside and you're eating at the picnic table and you want things going around, what we do with our canopy is take a box fan and have that box fan either on the side, which we can do here, and blow across, or we would put it up above us on bungee cords and have it blow down like a ceiling fan. The bugs, especially the house flies, don't like the wind, so that'll keep a lot of them away. So definitely something that you should try out. Guys, be sure to follow us and be sure to subscribe. Check out the blog over at theromingdad.com. We're highlighting all of our adventures. Been a lot of things this year already and a lot still coming. Take care.